I'm going to show you two new ways to subtract integers. All right, so let's take a look at an easy problem. Five minus three. You know that that answer is two. We could find five and three on the number line and find the difference or distance between those two numbers. So if we compare these two, they're two away from each other, okay? But what if we did three minus five, okay? Three and five are still two away from each other, but three minus five would be negative two. Like if you have $3 and you spend $5, you would be in debt $2, or you owe someone $2, okay? So um, if you're comparing the distance between the two numbers, you're gonna start at the second number and move to the first number. So if we were to start at five and move to three, we're gonna go negative one, negative two, okay? So we'd have to move negative two to get from five to three. If we were doing these two, we start at the three and we move in a positive direction one, two times to get to five, okay? Let's try one with some negatives. Let's do negative two minus one. And let's also do one minus negative two. All right, so we could start at one. This is the subtraction sign. So we're gonna start at positive one and we're gonna move to negative two. One, two, three in the negative direction. So that would be negative three. For this one, we would start at negative two, start here and we're gonna move to positive one. One, two, three. So that one is positive three. Okay, um, let's try one with a double negative. How about we do negative one minus negative two. So we still start at the second number and we're gonna move to the first number. So we're gonna go from here to here. Oh, that was easy. We went in the positive direction one time. Okay, so this is method number one, where you start at the second number, see how many times you move positive or negative to get the, to this original number. All right, method number two is we are still kind of finding that distance between the two numbers, but we don't have to worry about if we're going left or right. Okay, so the distance between seven and three is four. So it's going to be positive or negative four. We're gonna say the first number represents how much money I have, and the second one represents how much money you have. I have more money, that's positive. So it's going to be positive four, okay? The next one, the difference between four and negative two, negative two is here, four is here. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're six away from each other, okay? I have $4. You have negative $2. Again, I have more money, so it's going to be positive. All right, for this one, we're gonna compare negative two and five. All right, so here's five, here's negative two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven away from each other. I have negative two dollars. That sucks, I owe some people money. You have five dollars. You have more money than I do, I'm so sad. So that one is negative. I have less money. For negative three minus negative one, here's negative three and negative one. They are two away from each other. I have mm, negative three dollars. I owe people three dollars and you owe people just one dollar. 
So you have more money because you don't owe people as many things. So I have less money. That sucks. That's a negative situation for me. All right, negative two and negative seven. Negative two, negative seven. They are one, two, three, four, five away from each other. I owe people $2. You owe people $7. So technically, I have more money. My number is closer to zero, so it's a positive answer. 